Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're back on the pine caster, which is pretty cool. And in the last video, I went ahead and showed you how to set the bridge on any guitar, but we did it on this guitar. This is the bridge this guitar is getting. And I got the tape still on there. And take a look at these, look at these contours. It's pretty neat, huh? Got the contour up here. The contour down there and then naturally the armrest contour is pretty cool so whenever you're sitting down this contour down here lays right against your leg when you lay it back it just lays it feels comfortable instead of that having that sharp edge on your leg it's pretty cool so that's awesome and then like i said the, the contour here the pretty light guitar too it's um I don't know how much it weighs, but it's pretty light. It's fine. Anyways, so we got the bridge at the location we want it. And now I'm getting ready to ride out my humbucker hole for the rear humbucker, the bridge humbucker. And then in the neck, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put a humbucker in the neck, if I'm going to put a single coil in the neck, or if I'm not going to put nothing in. But we'll get to that later. Our main focus is getting this hole, getting this pickup hole routed. I brought the camera in close so you can see exactly what I'm doing on this bridge and also to check out my big old gut. Look at that. Ain't that sexy? Yeah, you know it is. Anyways, seriously, I brought this in. We're going to take a look at this um, hole here and I got my tape on the outside and that's going to tell me where the outside of this metal ring is here. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw on the inside here like this. And now I pull that away. If you can see that, you can see my box right here. Now these lines here, the gap here, the gap here, the gap here is all going to be covered by that piece of metal. So whatever I do, I can't go past this piece of tape here, this piece of tape here, and this piece of tape here. Otherwise, you'll see a hole sticking through on the bridge. So now I can take this is my ring here. And I can basically center this thing up to where to about like that. That's pretty close. And once I get that centered up, I'll go ahead and take a double stick tape, double stick tape this down, and then I can come through and route my pickup cavity hole. And that's the reason why I got the tape on and the inside, so I, so I can use this box as a center to center it up, plus I have also have a line where I can't go past. Because if I put this thing on and it's like this, for instance, you can see that tape. Well, whenever I go to put my metal ring on, that hole is going to be shown over that tape. That could be on the sides and the front, like this too, if it's up like that. That could also be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing clamped down. I'm going to go ahead and get my hole routed out, and then I'll be back. We'll take a look at it when I'm done. I'm back from routing my pickup control cavity, and take a look at it here real quick. You can see it there. Pretty sexy, huh? I think so. You see my tape, where my lines are for my tape, how the, the hole comes right out to the edge, but I've got a little gap in between it. That's good. So now I can take, this is just the humbucker I got laying around. This ain't the one that's going in it. I can set my humbucker in place. My wires inside here. And set the bridge over top of it. That's what it's going to look like. I see a close up of that. That's what it's going to look like. So, like I said, I just got it sitting in there. I still got to come back through and on the tabs, on the tabs of these pickups, you can see they're lower. And inside the corners up in here, in this corner here, and in this corner here, I'll have to take a, a um, Forstner bit and drill the holes deeper because my screws are going to extend down past that tag there so they're going to extend down past i don't know 
an eighth of an inch or so. So we just gotta make that them sides a little bit deeper. And that'll be good to go. The next thing I gotta do is figure out about this neck pickup. Am I gonna put a humbucker in the neck pickup? Am I gonna put a single coil in the neck pickup? Or am I gonna put no pickup at all? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let the subscribers of my YouTube channel decide what goes in the neck, if anything. So go to the comment section below and tell me, you want me to put a humbucker in the neck? You want me to put a single coil in the neck? Or want me to put nothing in the neck? What's next on the agenda for this thing is I'm gonna get ready to start routing a control cavity. Now, usually this would get a Telecaster style control cavity, but I'm doing a rear mount. So I'm gonna route a big cavity out of the back here and then rear mount everything. But I'm not gonna record that. I'm gonna be done here. This is gonna about do it for me. But before I go, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you don't mind, share this video with your friends. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it on, share it with your enemies. I don't care. Share it with everybody. Um, tell them about my channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Rock on.